Hey guys, welcome to our Chalk Talk. Um, we're going to talk about communication on ground balls and pop-ups with the infield and with the outfield and with the combination of the infield and outfield. So uh, let's start with the infield first. So our shortstop is kind of our commander. He, he kind of dictates who's going to get the ball. He has first opportunity at the shortstop and get it. We want the shortstop to get the call for that ball. So he's got he's kind of the leader in the infield. Um, so if that ball is hit up the middle, let's say that hitter is hitting the ball up the middle right here. If it's in question, I want that shortstop taking that ball. I want them calling it off. So if that shortstop says, mine, 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 that second baseman comes around behind him with enough space to make sure he's not in his way. And also, we don't want to get past the shortstop in the second base. So backing him up wherever that ball is at. So actually, the ball's up the middle. He's going to back it up right here. So clearly peeling off and making sure to get behind the shortstop. Now, in the infield, when it comes to the, just the right side only, so let's try it again. So if we have shortstop here, second base here, if it's over to the right side over here, kind of by first base and second, second baseman, we want the second baseman to call it off if, if it's questionable. So second baseman is kind of the leader of the, the right side. Okay, so he's going to call it off. First baseman's probably going to have to not back that up. He's going to probably have to cover that base instead. So he's not going to be able to peel off and back him up. He's going to count on that second baseman getting the ball. But if he does drop it, he's ready to cover that first base and still make a throw to first base, get the runner out. So a little different over here. Second base, we want, kind of want him to call it if it's possible so the first baseman can cover up that base. And then second baseman, if he does happen to miss the ball, he can still throw it to first base and get the out there. Okay, so... If the ball goes towards here, shortstop still has authority right here, so shortstop goes the ball, third base will then back him up. Now, let's say it's right to a certain position, doesn't matter who it is, first base, second base, shortstop, or third base. If it goes right to third base, and he's pretty much going to camp under it, I don't want the shortstop calling him off. I want third baseman to call it clearly my, my, mine, then that shortstop rolls behind him, and he's gonna he's gonna back him up just in case he does miss it miss the ball. So third baseman, shortstop, second base, or first base, if they're able to camp, what camping means is is means get it to it very quickly and able to kind of sit there and kind of wait for the ball to get to them. So that same thing kind of goes with with ground balls here. We always back each other up in the same way. We may not have time to call it off necessarily um, on some plays, but if it's kind of a slow ground ball coming up the middle right there. We probably want the shortstop to get the ball, and then it's easier angle for them to go to, to first base as well, so on a ground ball. So if it's up the middle, second baseman is going to still back them up and still go straight to the ball until they know that the shortstop's got it, and then they just peel off outside. So try to both go for the ball until someone calls it off. Shortstops might say, mine, 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 just so they can have a better angle, and the second baseman can kind of clear it out there as well. So communication is so important on any ground ball or any pop-up, especially, especially pop-ups because that's kind of always in space somewhere where it's a little bit tougher to figure out who's got it. Um, ground balls, we kind of know which direction it's going. First baseman, if, if all possible, you're only getting balls that are right there. Second baseman should be able to cover this whole area right here. And first baseman are really important to make sure they cover cover the base. So if that comes right to them, clearly you're going to cover that. And then second baseman roll behind and back that up. And then pitchers can roll over there and cover um, on a ball head to the right side as well. So any ball head to the right side, pitchers are going to roll over. And pitches on Thursday, we'll talk, actually talk about that as well, as rolling out and covering that first base and how to do that properly. So so that's kind of how we the infield works. Now, when it comes to outfield, the main person in charge is that center fielder. They're in the center of the field. They can see everything the best, and they usually have the most range on the team when it comes to the outfield. Um, so if the ball's hit to right center right here, the ball's hit to right center, Center fielder, if they call it off, they're going to go right to the ball and get the ball. Right fielder is going to make sure they have plenty of room behind them to back them up in case they drop it. Or if they have to jump in, maybe the center fielder loses in the sun, they're ready to back that up as well. But we don't want the ball to go past center field and then also go past the right fielder. So make sure you know how far to back up. Make sure it's plenty of room where you know the ball is not going to get past both of you. Uh, but not too far away where you really have to run up to get the ball as well. So you got to kind of find that nice equal medium where you're close enough, but you're not going to let the ball get past both of those people. So same thing in, in left field. 
So make sure center fielder, you're calling it my, my, mine. So same thing in left field. Center fielder, if they can get to it, they're going to call it off. If not, they're going to bat end up both going for the ball until someone calls it off. And then whoever calls it off first is just going to peel off and go behind or peel off and go behind if you're a left fielder. Kind of depending on who, who does that, who calls it. So if you, if you someone calls it, all the person just peels off and they go behind them and making sure they're supporting them and backing them up. It's so important in the game of baseball to back each other up. Um, if the right fielder is able to camp and it's a ball clearly, clearly it's mostly the right field and this per, this right fielder can kind of camp and get there pretty easily. They're going to say, my, my, mine. center fielder is still going to roll over here and try to back them up. Um, just to make sure if they, if they don't miss it, they're back there to support them as well. And then give them a high five after they catch the ball or get the ball. So, um, so now when it comes to both infield and outfield, now this is the tricky one typically in most, in most teams, is who's got authority? On a ball hit in between a fly ball, ground balls, we know that right fielders, left center field, left fielder, it's already past the infield. But on a pop-up that kind of goes in this range, anywhere in between those two, those infielders and outfielders, that's where the question mark is going to be. There's basically five or six different windows that we have to make sure that you're, you're going to be questionable if it's infield or outfield. Now, we want the outfield, if possible, to get the ball and make sure they're aggressively calling it off if they can. Mind my mind, if they know they have a good chance for it, because it's a lot easier to run for than it is to run backwards. So outfielders, right field, center field, left field, try to get that ball if you can get it. You're in charge out there any pop-ups, because that's kind of your specialty to catch fly balls and pop-ups. So right field, center field, left field, come get those balls that are short. Um, if you can call the infielder off, call them off. You usually have a better angle, and you're always coming forward. It's easier to come forward. Now, I'm not saying that both shouldn't run to the ball. So second baseman might come to the ball here. Right field and center field might all come to the ball. Now, whoever gets the closest first should call that off. And then everybody else just peels off and they peel off and go behind. Second baseman peels off, go to the right, and the right fielder will peel off there. Or if the right fielder calls it, then the center fielder will peel off and back them up as well. So we got to really make sure that that outfielder, if they can call it, my, my, mine, call it early. And the second baseman's always trying to run. If they can get Underneath the ball and kind of uh, camp under it, they can call it as well. But mostly, we want the outfielders trying to get the ball if possible. Uh, be aggressive until you're called off. Always be aggressive until you're called off. Over here, same thing. Center field, left field are kind of in charge. Let's say the ball's hit right here. Shortstop goes to the ball. Center field goes to the ball. Left field goes to the ball. Whoever go, whoever calls it off first, let's say left field calls him off. Shortstop's going to peel out of there. Center fielder is going to peel off and go behind that left fielder. So then the shortstop is going to kind of help support whatever way they can and then may have to turn into a cutoff situation for them as well, kind of depending where it lands. So very important to communicate. Outfielders have the authority over top of the infielders when it's come to a fly ball that's in these spaces in between the two. Uh, infielders, shortstops are kind of in charge. Outfielders, center fielders are kind of in charge out there. Um, but be aggressive. Always go to the ball until someone calls you off. All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Make sure you guys are getting all your videos sent to me on your hitting. I've gotten quite a few so far, but make sure if you haven't sent your video on your swing yet, give me a front view and a side view, um, as well as make sure you show me your leadoff your leadoffs, and your secondary leads as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Good practice tonight. Um, it takes a village to become the best. The heat always rise. Heat on three. One, two, three, heat.